Hey basketball players, today we're going to be talking to you about building your shooting form. So let's get down to it. Now shooting in basketball today is the most important thing that you're going to learn. The Steph Currys and the Clay Thompsons of the world have changed that and now every single basketball team, NBA, college, university, even high school, are looking for good and great three-point shooters. The reason for this is because if you can shoot over 35% from the three-point line, you are a higher scorer and a more efficient scorer than somebody who scores in the low post. So this is why there's so many teams switching over to a five out and four out offense so that they can get their three point shots up. This is why there's more and more teams hitting 30, 40, 50 threes in the game attempted. So today is shooting form. So how can we start? We're gonna start from our base. That's gonna be our feet. If you are right handed, your right foot is going to be just a bit in front of the left. While if you're a left handed, your left hand is, or your left foot is going to be a bit in front of your right. Now the reason why we have our foot, our strong side foot in front of our other foot, so for example myself, I'm right handed, why I have my right foot in front of my left? The reason is to allow your body to be in line with the net, but also it allows you to have more power on your shot. I dare you to go outside right now and take a shot if you're right handed and have your left foot in front of your right. It's not going to feel right. You're going to be trying to push that ball in different directions and it's just not going to work right. So you want to have your right foot slightly in front. And to do this, have the balls of your feet, the knuckles of your feet, your toes essentially, in the arch of your right foot if you're right handed and then go shoulder width apart. Next, why are we going shoulder width apart? We're having our feet shoulder width apart because that's going to give us the most balance. We don't want to be too wide because then we're going to be taking away our ability to jump higher. We don't want to be too narrow because that now our bodies are going to sway. So we want to be shoulder width apart. And to do this, it's very simple. You can sit in front of a mirror and you can go feet together, shoulder width apart. Now you can get that feeling. And now basically, I'm going to tell you right now, I shoot off of feeling. Some players don't, some players just go off of what they can aim for. I personally shoot off of feeling. Does this shot feel like it's going to be going in? What is off balance so I can correct that halfway through my shot? That's another level and we're not gonna be really talking about that today. Today we're just talking about shooting form. And basically that is for right-handed, this is your base. If you're left-handed, you're going to have your left foot and shoulder width apart, left foot a bit ahead of the other, and that's going to be your base. Now we need to move up. We need to move up to our legs. Now we're moving up to our legs and it's going to be our knees that are going to be uh, very important. So number one, we shouldn't be having our knees spread apart when we shoot. They shouldn't be going in when we shoot. They should be bending straight forward. The reason for this is because when you're shooting, if your knees are anywhere offline, that's going to be affecting everything else above your body. So they need to be bending straight forward. Next is going to be your hips. Your hips need to drop when you take that shot or when you're getting prepared to take that shot. So this is going to allow us to explode up off of our shot. This is all very important from the waist down, ridiculously important. We don't want to go down and have our hips go out to the side. And I understand I was like that once. I've had two knee surgeries on the right side. Yes, I have previously and I still feel myself doing it once in a while, feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on this left leg. You don't want to do that. You want to have even pressure coming off of both legs. Next is going to be your shooting pocket and that is where we're going to start with the ball. Now you're not always going to be able to catch that ball, get it down here and go up. There are going to be times where you catch that ball and you just bring it right up. That's a lot quicker of a shot. But right now we're just talking about basic shooting form. You want to get it in that shooting pocket. That is right on that right hip if you're right handed and on your left hip if you're left handed and you'll be bringing it up from there. Now we're gonna be talking about your shoulders and how you bring that ball up. First, 
You don't want to bring it from here and around your body, kind of like Alonzo Ball kind of thing. You don't want to do that. You also don't want to bring it up your body like this and push from your chest. Now, if you're younger, seven, eight, nine years old, that's going to happen. You don't have the strength yet to shoot like this. So it's going to happen. But instead of shooting with two hands, you don't want to do that when you're younger. What you want to do is shoot, have the same base and bring that ball up and you can push from your chest if you're seven, eight, nine years old. That's going to allow you to transition into a shot that you're going to have when you become a bit older and stronger. It's going to be a little bit easier to transition from that, but you can go from your, your shooting pocket. You want to have your wrist back as far as you can. I personally don't, but you should. And then you bring it up almost like a half circle up. There should be a half circle right there for you to come up for your shot. Now, there's a lot of different coaches who will say, okay, you can shoot from in front of your eye. You can shoot from beside your head. At that point, I'm going to tell you, it just comes down to how you feel comfortable. And if your elbow either way is going to be underneath that ball. I personally don't care if you shoot from here or here. As long as this elbow is underneath that ball, that is the most important because the elbow is your aim. Now really quickly before we move on, if you want to have your jump shot analyzed by myself, go check out the link in the description below. But going back to that shot, we're going to bring it from here, our shooting pocket, up to our shot, up to, up to our shooting form. Now from here, we want to have our wrist as far back as we can. We want to have this elbow pointing towards the rim. Now, some players will shoot with an arm that is really far bent back. Personally, I'm not that flexible, so I can't, but could be because I have found that the, the more 90 degrees this arm is, the faster your shot's going to be because you've got less distance to travel to get that shot off. So now we have made it from our feet all the way up to our shooting form. What's next? Well, it's going to be our release. But first, we need to be balanced. We can't be drifting one way or the other on our shot or forwards and backwards. You really want to go as best you can straight up and then straight back down. Then also, what you want to have is your shoulders in line with your knees, in line with your toes, and that's going to give you the power to get that shot off as well. That's going to give you more power to shoot from farther away. And then next, what you want to do is when you release that ball or when you go for your shot and you release that ball, you want to flick, you want to keep your arms straight, you want to flick your wrist as hard as you can. And you want to have that ball roll off your middle finger because your middle finger is the longest finger on your hand, un unless it's not, but if it is, then what you want to do is have that ball roll off that middle finger so that you have perfect backspin. And what you want to have, if you record yourself, and I would actually say go out right now and record yourself shooting and try to fix the, your shot or try to change your shot as best as possible to have a straight shot, but watch the ball in the air. If you can also get that ball when it's in the air and see how many times it rotates. If the ball can rotate two and a half times or more in the air, then you have good rotation on your shot. And why is that important? Well, especially if you go up against double rims like this one, it's going to allow you to have a softer shot. So when it hits the rim, it's more able to bounce in. We've seen this with the Kawhi Leonard shot last playoffs. And when you're shooting from close in, you can have a little bit of a hop, but when you are shooting from farther away, you don't want to change your shot form at all. All you want to do is to jump higher. If your shot is ever short, you want to jump higher. If your shot is too long, you want to reach up higher to release that ball instead of reaching so far forward to release the ball. I hope that these tips can help you shoot the basketball better. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe, go check out my vertical jump training book down in the description below. And if you want me to analyze your shot, it's down there as well. I'll see you guys again next time.